Hi, welcome to Blenny Creative. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this, uh, to cut a um, wrapper, your George wrapper. So I'll be teaching you two wrappers today, but first of all, I'll start with the George wrapper. If you are new to my channel, please click on the on the subscription button and subscribe to my channel. For my old subscribers, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my videos i hope you've learned a lot so please stay to the end of the video and uh, you'll be glad you did because i'm teaching you two type how to call two type of wrapper so i'll be starting with the judge ensure that you give this video a thumbs up and you give um drop your comments on the comment section and also share the link also so i'll be using this paper to illustrate the cutting of the wrapper so assuming this is your judge the piece of paper there assuming this is your judge and the judge is five yards some don't even get to five yards now maybe five and a, maybe 30 inches 28 inches but assuming this is your judge of five yards so uh, i'll be using this paper to illustrate so you just have to pay attention and listen and so that when you are cutting your wrapper you can cut it very well, so this is the five yards fabric of your judge. So I'll be me measuring the up uh, with 2.8 inches. 2.8 inches. I've measured 2.8 inches at the upper part of the paper, and the, I'm measuring 2.8 inches at the bottom part of the paper. That's the first wrapper you tie in inside first. That's the one you tie inside before tying another at the top. So this um, um, a wrapper, you can use 2 point, uh, that's 2 yard, 10 inches for fat person. But for average size, it's 2 yard, 8 inches that you cut out. You can see I've cut the 2 yard, 8 inches out. So the remaining fabric that is remaining, I'm going to cut 2 yards, 18 inches but for the average size you can cut two yard 15 inches so i'll make use of the two yards 15 inches that we do but if your customer is a plus size you can use two and 18 inches that's two and a half yard uh, sorry two and uh, uh, two and a half yards so uh i'll just go ahead and cut off my uh, it cut off the remaining one. So this is the two, uh, two point fifteen inches. That is two yard fifteen inches. And remember the first one we cut it two yard eight inches. So we just go ahead and fold the edges. You fold the edges and you sew with your um sewing machine. You can use your zigzag. Zigzag is always finer than the straight um stitches so use your zigzag or your straight machine to just sew the edges you can see that the edges that's how you fold it you fold it as if you're folding the down part of your garment so you just go ahead and sew that you can see our wrapper is ready so we'll go straight to the ankara so the ankara uh, is six years your ankara is always six years so except for this cheaper one so I'll go ahead and also cut two yard eight inches for the inner wrapper. So like I told you, if your customer is plus size, you can use two and ten inches. Or if your client, some of the customer they describe for you also. So we have cut. I've cut out my two yard eight inches out. So I've cut it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the, the remaining one. Which is two yard, two yard fifteen inches. So I'm going to call that two yard fifteen inches. Remember, you have to notch the up. You measure two and uh, two and fifteen inches. You notch. You go to the down of the wrapper. You measure two and eight, uh, fifteen inches. Then you notch. So after notching, then you cut. That will make your wrapper very straight. You can see I've cut out my two, uh, 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 two point eighteen uh, uh, inches out. So I'm just. You can see that when when cutting your wrapper, ensure that uh, that you look at the edges first. So I'm just that remaining part that will cut out. I will just fold it into two. 
I'll fold it to two. Look at how I folded it. So from the English edge, I'm going to measure 12 inches. So you can use 10 inches. You can see the English edge. That's that white part that they, they, they used to write on in the wrapper. Maybe guaranteed or high target or Hollandis and so on. So you just measure it um, 12 inches like I did and you cut it out. So the 12 inches, the two English edge, you can see that both of my fabric have two English edge. That they have each have English edge. So we're going to sew this at the top of that two yard in 15 inches. So you can see uh, English, uh, um, uh, like I told you, when cutting uh, your fabric, ensure that mostly the Ankara, there are some patterns, some design that faced up. So make sure you know the up part of it before sewing or before even cutting so that you don't make mistake destroying people's uh, uh, wrapper. So at uh, this one, this one that we are going to sew at the top of that uh, big wrapper, that's the one you're going to, this 2.15 uh, inches. So you can see how I folded the the corner. You fold it once. That's from the right uh, the right uh, right side facing right side. You can see how I'm folding it. All right, you can see that it's right side. You fold it from the, you fold it, you, you, you let the right side face you. Then you fold a little at the edge. Then the other side also fold a little at the edge and place it the way I have just showed you. So you go to your sewing machine and sew that part and turn it again and sew the other part of it. You can see how I did it. So I'll just go ahead and pin it so that uh, you can see clearly. You can see I've pinned it, so I've sewn it. So you sew and you sew and you turn. You can see how I did mine so then the, the the english edge will face the upper part up so i will just trim that rough edge so that you see what i'm doing so i'm going to apply the same technique to this one so the right side that's the right side of the wrapper you are just going to fold it you are just going to fold it. like i told you you wash out for the the design in the wrapper so that you know where it's facing up where it's facing down. So the upper part of it, you just fold it once. So for the uh, other one that we've joined, you are not going to fold at the English edge. You are going to fold at that rough edge at the bottom. You can see how I folded it. And you are going to place it on that other one that will fold. And you sew straight. And you sew straight. So you sew it straight and you turn and you sew again. So you can see, you just go ahead and uh, fold the edge of your wrapper. Just fold the edge of your wrapper. Fold and fold the two edge, both the two yard and the eight inches. Fold and you sew down either with zigzag. Like I told you, the zigzag stitch is very beautiful. I hope uh, with this you'll be able to cut your wrapper. You'll not be confused. Drop your comment in the comment section. Do give this video a thumbs up and do check on this uh, channel for new tutorials every week thank you for watching thank you for watching and to my old subscriber thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are new to my channel please subscribe whenever you click on the subscribe button so that whenever i put on new videos and the notification button also so that you'll be alerted see you in the next tutorial bye god bless you